Eagle, it denotes that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, rapport is the 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 Because did you know that in terms of male, woman, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporin is the most compatible Pokemon for humans. Not only are they in the field egg group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, Vaporin are an average of a 3-3 L and 3 point on pounds. And that's me and I da 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 Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Zebrin is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? Not only are they in the field group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, Zeppelin are on average of 3 feet tall and 63.9 pounds. This means they're large enough to be able to handle human dicks, and with their impressive knees, stats for HP and access to acid armor, you can be off with one. This is their mostly water-based biology. Hey guys! Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, the Borean is the most compatible Pokemon for humans. Not only are they in the field at group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, the Borean are an average of 3 3 tall and 63.9 pounds. This means they are large enough to be able to handle human dicks. And with their impressive base of jets worth and access to glass and armor, you can be rough with words of Due to their mostly water-based biology, there's no doubt in my mind that Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokémon breeding, Vaporeen is the most compatible Pokémon for humans. 
Not only are they in the field egg group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, they bring an head average of 3 3 tall and a 63.9 pounds, this means they're large enough to be a bohano human dicks. And with their impressive base stats for HP and access to acid armor, you can be rough with war. Due to their mostly water-based biology, there's no doubt in my mind that an aroused vaporine would be incredibly wet, so what that you can easily have sex with one for hours without getting so. They can also learn the moves that track baby dogs, captivate charm, and tail whip. Hey guys, did you know I did get a bit of male helmet? In the female broken bread in the bread, you tell me the most compatible pattern for a dolly 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 dolly
Did you know that in terms of male human and female Pokemon breeding, therefore it is the most compatible Pokemon for humans. Not only are they in the field that group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, therefore it are an average of 3-3 tall and 63.9 pounds. This means they are large enough to be able to handle human dicks, yelks, and with their impressive base stats for a band access to acid armor, you can be roofed with one. Due to their mostly water-based biology, there's no doubt in my mind that an arrest vaporing would be... Hey guys, that's in terms of male size, that's how men and female Pokemon breeding. Hey girl, then I didn't even know that in terms of male size, that one and she won't take a dick of them, but 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 breeding up or in a dick of them, but 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 but
Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeen is the most compatible Pokemon for humans. Not only are they in the field egg, through which is mostly Zombris of mammal Hey kids, did you know that in terms of male human and female Pokemon breeding, the Porin is the most compatible Pokemon for humans, not only they in the field a group which is mostly comprised of mammals, the Porin are an average of 3 3 tall and 6 3.9 pounds, this means they were large enough to be a ball handle human dicks. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male human and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeen is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? Not only are they in the field they group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, Vaporeen are an average of 3 3 tall and 63.9 pounds, this means they're large enough to be able to handle human dicks, and when their impressive base stats for HP and access to acid armor, you can be rough with one? Due to most lore of base apology, there's no doubt in my mind that an aroused Vaporeen would be incredibly wet so wet that you could easily have sex with one four hours without getting sold. They can also learn the moves of track baby doll eyes, captivate, charm, and tail whip, along with not having for the white nipples, so it'd be incredibly easy. Yes, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeen is the most compatible Pokemon for humans. Not only are they in the field egg group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, Vaporeen are an average of 3 3 tall and 63.9 pounds. This means they are large enough to be able to handle human dicks. And with their impressive base stats for up and access to acid armor, you can be ruled with one. Due to their mostly water-based biology, there's no doubt in my mind that in a ruby reap, Use Vaporin. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporin is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? Not only are they the field egg group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, or 63.9 pounds. This means they're large enough to be able to handle human dicks. And with their impressive base stats for HP and access to acid armor, you can be rough with one. They're most of all a based biology. There's no doubt in my mind that an aroused vaporin would be incredibly wet, so what that it could be the end. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporin is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? In the field, it group. It's just mostly comprised of mammals. Vaporeen are an average of 3 3 tall and 63.9 pounds. This means they're large enough. They will handle human dicks and with their impressive base stats for HP and access to us. You can man man erupt with one. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male human and female Pokemon breeding, 
that Porin is the most complete stun battle Pokemon for humans. Not only Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeen is the most compatible Pokemon for humans. Not only are they in the field a group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, Vaporeen are an average of 3 3 tall and 63.9 pounds. This means they're large enough to be able to handle human dicks, and with their impressive base stats for HP and access to acid armor, you can be rough with one. Due to their mostly water-based biology, there's no doubt in my mind that an aroused Vaporeen would be incredibly wet. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male human and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? Not only are they in the field a group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, Vaporeon are an average of 3 3 tall and size 3.9 pounds. This means they are large enough to be able to handle human dicks. And with their impressive base stats for up and access to acid armor, you can be real with one due to their mostly weighted base biology. There's no doubt in my mind that an arrest vaporing would be incredibly nice, so what that you could easily have seen. With one for Hey guys! Did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon we've been breeding beta to to do it? Both of them. Prentice, Bunny, both the dog, but time the dog with those. I think oh it's 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 I'm a lamb of the of male, a human, and female Pokemon breeding the fun. New Warren is the most useful. He's a compatible Pokemon for humans. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, 
Thank you.